Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Gaining Grounds. Before I begin this video, just a reminder, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button down below. We are going to break things up today, doing something new. We are going to watch a video called Sofia Petrillo, the OG comeback queen, Golden Girls. If you don't know who Sofia, Sofia Petrillo is, I recommend you just go now before I get angry. For the rest of you, Sofia Petrillo from the Golden Girls, Dorothy's born ex-mother, played by the late, great Estelle Getty. Uh, somebody, uh, I believe it was TV Land, uh, compiled her most savage moments or her most amazing comebacks, however you want to call it. And I want to watch it and I want to laugh. And I'm inviting you to come along and laugh with me. One of my favorite shows of all time. I probably have every episode memorized, but I haven't actually seen an episode in a long time. So uh, I'll probably know most of these, but it's probably been a couple years since I've seen any of it. So come along with me. We're going to Miami. We are going to hang out with the hottest. Uh, were they senior citizens? They were in their mid-50s. What's senior citizens these days? I don't know, but we're going to hang out with the hottest ladies uh, from Miami, from the 80s. And uh, we're going to have some good laughs at their expense, courtesy of Sophia Petrillo. Let's go. It's always been your worst feature. <laughs> Actually, your ears are your worst feature. <laughs> but competitive is right up there. Jealousy is a very ugly thing, Dorothy. And so are you in anything backless. <laughs> I've used that insult many times. I love it. Dorothy, can I make a little suggestion when you go for your makeover? Sure, what is it? Don't expect a miracle. <laughs> Never seen you look so beautiful. Oh, thanks, Ma. I remember watching this in the 80s and thinking that dress is hideous. I, I don't understand. I mean, I guess for the time, the fashion was, I guess it matched. But I don't know. I thought it was hideous then. I think it was hideous now. If you were wearing dresses in the 80s, let me know if that's a dress you would have thrown on. But I don't know. It looks like a extra large uh, curry and it's too much. Uh, who's the designer? He deserves a Nobel Prize for miracles. <laughs> I don't see Blanche. Oh, she said she'd be over right after her hair appointment. She wanted to look her best for Charmaine's big day. Boy, Blanche is handling this a lot better than I would. I would kill Gloria if she ever wrote about my sexual escapades. <laughs> you kill your sister over a pamphlet? <laughs> oh, no. I can't see myself swinging my hips and wildly uh. gyrating my pelvis. I am not interested. <laughs> and the world heaves a collective sigh of relief. <laughs> Uh. My daughter may be no spring chicken, and her jaw might crack when she chews. <laughs> and she may have noticeable trouble digesting raw vegetables. <laughs> but one thing she's not is mental. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I raised her, and I was the one who got her through that awkward period. The 50 toughest years of my life. <laughs> You'd be oh, special. God. And I didn't disappoint you. A little. <laughs> Come on now. Would it hurt to spend a little time with your daughter? That remains to be seen. Strictly hypothetical. Let's say a man wants to take you out on a date. Why is that hypothetical? Check your calendar, pussycat. It's terrible. Now, Ma, remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. I think I crossed that line when I got a date. Oh, I remember this episode. Look how cute she was, that little red dress. Fun fact, uh, I believe... No, I think, I think I'm right. She was actually, uh, she played the oldest, but she was the youngest uh, member of the cast. And she passed away first. Uh, Ro, uh, Sophia, and then I think Blanche, and then Dorothy. I think that's the order they all passed away in. And I'm pretty sure they went one year after another. I think it was like 08, 09, and 10, or 07, 08, 09. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it went one, it went, it went to Stel Getty, and then the next year, Rue McClanahan, and then I think... Uh, Dor uh, Dorothy's born act. B. Arthur was the year after. I think it was three years in a row. And then, as we know, uh, Betty White went on for a long time and then uh, recently passed away New Year's Eve last year. So. Oh, Dorothy, a man called for you while you were out. Finally, now we can break out that bottle of champagne we've been saving. <laughs> Arrested for prostitution. I can't believe it. Oh, Sophia, we're innocent. I know that. I can't believe these dumb cops would think anyone would pay money to sleep with you. <laughs> Best episode ever. That was the Burt Reynolds. Was it Burt Reynolds? I think it was Burt Reynolds. Whoever they are, I'm pretty sure it was Burt, the Burt Reynolds episode. Best episode. One of the best episodes. I mean, they're all pretty good, but this is the one where she's, uh, they're in prison. They, 
<laughs> they want to see Burt Reynolds and they rent a motel or a hotel in downtown Miami. And it turns out it's a hotel for Johns to meet um, sex workers. And uh, they don't realize that. So they get arrested in a sting and they miss the Burt Reynolds uh, dinner theater or whatever. And they end up, as you see, they end up in jail. So Sophia has to go alone and she ends up meeting Burt Reynolds and whatever. Anyway, moral of the story is while they're in uh, this little jail cell, um, this is the episode where Rose tells them about how she uh, was passed up. For, I think it was Butter Queen. Was that what it was? Butter Queen? And it was like, it was a fantastic episode. Who are you? <laughs> First episode. Amazing. It's me, Blanche. You look like a prostitute. <laughs> I'm going to have to meet men lying down. <laughs> I thought you did. <laughs> I take very good care of myself. I treat my body like a temple. Yeah, open to everyone, day or night. <laughs> Say, my life is a romance novel. Your life is a sports page. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, everybody says what a giving person I am. She's talking about when you're in an upright position. <laughs> Why are you insulting me? It's a defense mechanism. Um. I guess it's to hide my feelings when I'm deeply upset. Oh, well, I understand. In that case, I won't take it personally. Thanks, you human mattress. <laughs> you would have made a very good psychologist. Great idea, pussycat. Give Blanche an office with a couch and a license to charge <laughs> by the hour. <laughs> Sophia, there's something I don't understand. Uh, now, you're always a bit ornery, unpleasant, impolite, even downright mean. That's part of your charm. Thank you, you bed-hopping relic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got a lot of my humor from um, from Sophia. <laughs> Although I am kind of Dorothy. Oh my goodness, we have company. <laughs> Just so embarrassed to be seen in this old thing. <laughs> Don't worry, Blanche, the dress covers most of it. <laughs> we were always so much alike. <laughs> And so close, just like Siamese twins. It's a shame when they separated you, you got both butts. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. I cannot stand it anymore. You know what I can't stand anymore? That phony accent of yours. What is this, designing women? Hello, Blanche. How are you? You don't have cataracts, you tell me. <laughs> Beat it, you 50-year-old mattress. <laughs> Blanche, Blanche, you know the rules. When one of you is out with Fidel, the other one does not interfere. My apologies. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go take a long, hot, steamy bath with just enough water to barely cover my perky bosoms. <laughs> You're only gonna sit in an inch of water? <laughs> Why don't you just kiss and make up? Why don't you just blow it out your ditty bag? <laughs> I wonder if jewelry comes from Jewish people. <laughs> In Little Falls, the jeweler was Jewish. Jeweler? Jewish? I wonder if there's a connection. I think there's a connection between your brain and wallpaper paste. <laughs> Rose, what the hell are you doing? I'm making omelets for us without yolks so we don't get too much cholesterol. <laughs> and that leaves us all these yolks, which I hate to throw out, so I thought we'd give them to the homeless. <laughs> Fine, give them egg yolks. They'll die of heart attacks. They won't eat homeless. <laughs> your heart's in the right place, Rose, but I don't know where the hell your brain is. <laughs> Rose Nyland? No one if I start acting like her, pull a plug. <laughs> Dorothy, you're the smart one. And Blanche, you're the sexy one. And Sophia, you're the old one. And... <laughs> I'm the nice one. Everybody always likes me. The old one isn't so crazy about you. <laughs> you're moving, Rose. Too bad. This would be touching if I liked you more. <laughs> I know if he got to know me, he'd like me. Why, I got to know you, I don't like you. <laughs> you just say that. Repeatedly. <laughs> Go ahead, stand up and say it. My name is Rose and I'm an idiot. Are you all right, Sophia? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I'm okay, I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. 
You know, I saw a lot of this when I worked at the grief center. You're angry about Phil's death, and that's normal. But you shouldn't be angry with Angela. You know, I think you haven't cried because you haven't accepted his death yet. Thank you. I've never been psychoanalyzed by a dipstick before. <laughs> the man in that box was a bum. <laughs> a scoundrel, a cheat, and a liar. But there was another side to him, and it was beautiful. He awakened feelings in me I haven't felt in 35 years. We used to hug and kiss and hold hands, and it was, it was nice. He made me feel attractive and desirable again. He probably made the rest of you feel that way, too. And looking out at this kennel club, that was no small accomplishment. <laughs> this nectarine is beautiful. I never saw a more perfect piece of fruit. Oh, I hate to interrupt, but this was such a sad episode. They don't say it. At least I don't think they say it, but um, she's a, a candy striper at, a, at, I don't know if it's a hospital or a clinic or something, and um, she brings a tangerine. She does all this stuff in the episode, but she ends up bringing a tangerine to the little boy in the hospital who uh, I believe has AIDS. I don't think they never said it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is because she's like, because he says something like, they don't know what it is. There's no cure for it. And this was probably like 1985 to 86. It's a very sad episode. So she does all this. She brings a tangerine. And then um, while she's doing all this and helping people in the hospital, uh, Rose, Dorothy, and, Sophie, and uh, Blanche are sitting around the kitchen doing nothing all day. Talking about how, you know, Sophia really needs to get out and do more stuff. And it, it's just a funny episode because the three of them are sitting there talking about all the things they want to do. And how Sophia is like becoming old and, and frail. And uh, she's not doing anything. She's not keeping her mind active. Meanwhile, while they're all sitting there, this woman's running all around town. And then we find out she's helping the, she's um, soothing or I can't think of the word. Comforting the, the kid in the hospital who... Like I said, I believe has these. Very good episode, very touching episode, but still funny too. Root. No? Then try kissing my behind. <laughs> it's a real peach. Hi, it's me, Stan. What do you want? I have a surprise for Dorothy. What? Now that you're off the blood pressure medicine, it's working again? <laughs> Hi, Sophia. Remember me? Stan's brother, Ted? I danced with you at their wedding. Where were you when they got divorced? I was looking for someone to dance with then. Come on in, Stanley. We were just talking about you. I thought I felt my ears burning. Maybe that cheap toupee you're wearing retains heat. Dorothy, baseball was meant to be seen from the bleachers and small, intimate parks with real grass. If there's anything I hated, it's artificial turf. That never stopped you from wearing it on your head. <laughs> it's me, Stan. Wait, let me rephrase that. It's me, the new Stan. What are you talking about? Don't you notice a difference? Can't you see the glow? Can't you see the light radiating off of me? Sure, it's the porch light glaring off your head. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> I guess you ladies didn't recognize me without my toupee. <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh, do you mind if I use a phone? You already used my daughter. You didn't ask for my permission. <laughs> There's a phone in the living room. Thanks. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, I know what it looks like. And frankly, that's exactly what it is. You had to bring him home. You couldn't find a drunken sailor on a street corner. <laughs> Honey, you okay? Oh, why do these things keep happening to me? And why do I let them keep happening? I'm just tired of getting all dressed up, looking gorgeous, going out, only to lose out in the end. On the other hand, I am dressed up, and I do look gorgeous, and it is gringo night at Hernando's Hacienda. <laughs> oh, but I don't think I'll go. I'm just so vulnerable. Does anybody know how to say vulnerable in Spanish? <laughs> oh, never mind. I'll say it with my eyes. <laughs> Adios. I said it before and I'll say it again. Sluts just heal quicker. <laughs> oh. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that, but I'm not going to lie. After the peach scene, my mind was so... Um, 
consumed with whether or not I knew what I was talking about in terms of that episode. Like I kept thinking, wait a minute, I thought it was a tangerine. Why was she holding a peach? So literally when the video ended and before I started this segment, I grabbed my phone. I was right. I am not crazy. It is from the episode The Days and Nights of Sophia Petrillo, 1988. With, while Dorothy, Rose, and Blanche sit around and feel like their lives are boring, Sophia goes out and fights with a grocery store over a nectarine and a piece of meat, conducts a jazz band made up of old ladies, and volunteers at the hospital. So the whole episode was like a contradiction. Like, we're the young ones, and our lives are so fulfilled, but poor Sophia, she's getting old and doesn't do much. Meanwhile, the woman has a full day that um, ends with her taking that tangerine after doing all this other volunteer work, getting to the hospital and giving it to the, to the child who, like I said, I believe uh, was HIV positive or, 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 um, or had progressed to AIDS. I don't know, but this is what happens when I make statements that I start second guessing myself. But luckily, it was towards the end of the video. So while I was a little distracted, the video was almost over. But yeah, love that episode. Love the Golden Girls. The stuff they said in the 80s, some of the stuff they got away with would never fly today. Um, it was also such a groundbreaking show. Women in their 50s and Sophia technically in her, her 80s being single. You know, some of them were divorcees. Well, two of them were widows. Three of them were widows. And then one of them was a divorcee. Just being sexual and, you know, having social lives. And it was just so unheard of. And they managed to take that topic and just make it so funny. And, of course, Sophia and Dorothy are my favorite. I love them all, of course, I love them all, but Sophia and Dorothy are my favorite, and I was very sad when Betty went because that was the end of, of an era. A lot of the other actors already passed. Uh, the gentleman who played um, Stan Zbornak, Dorothy's ex-husband, he passed like two years after the show ended. He had emphysema. He was a heavy smoker, apparently, but it's sad. You know, He's, I love that show, and there's, there's none left, and while three of them had passed away for at least 12 years now, Betty was like the final... Um, the final one kind of keeping the show alive and keeping everything going. And now that she's gone, you look at the show and you're like, wow, not one of them is still with us. But anyway, I had a great laugh. I hope you did too. I really enjoyed the uh, video. And I hope you enjoyed me laughing with it. And I hope you laughed. It's been a crazy year so far here and around the world. And I think sometimes we just need to laugh, get away from the girls, get away from serious TV shows about, about uh, you know, uh, escaping um, cartels. Just have a good laugh, and I hope that this video did that for you. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. If you'd like to see me reacting to more of these clips, uh, I'd love to know. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so by clicking the subscribe button down below. Click the bell next to it to be alerted every time I upload new content. Go to give this video a thumbs up. Given this video and other videos on my channel a thumbs up. Means you like my videos. We like my videos. Means you like my channel. We like my channel. My channel grows. And feel free to share this video on other social media. I also have my Discord link down below. Feel free to join us there. Uh, not only do we chat with each other, a lot of people go in to do a bunch of weight loss stuff, art stuff, we share pet photos, but it's also a great way to get notifications because every time I upload a video, I alert everyone in Discord. So sometimes if the tubes is having a moment and doesn't notify everybody, I can be sure that my Discord does and the people who are there know that I uploaded a video. So that's it. As always, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And most of all, thank you for watching. And until next time.